Um, my name is Lindsay Brinton. I'm a graduate student at the University of Virginia. Here I study pancreatic cancer in the laboratory of Dr. Kimberly Kelly. Um, and I am looking at the cells that surround tumor cells in order to see if we can use them to find cancer before um, it's too late to treat it. So trying to improve the survival of patients with pancreatic cancer. As a little kid, I was an extremely curious person. I apparently talked nonstop, and most of what came out of my mouth were questions. My mindset has always been very, how do things work? What's going on? Um, and as I got older, I was even more struck by, by the human body and how intricate and complex it is, um, and I wanted to understand how it worked. I liked medicine, I've always liked medicine. Um, I've always liked science and math, really. Um, so when I was getting into college, um, I sort of combined my two loves. I loved math, so I chose engineering, and I loved medicine, so I chose biomedical engineering. Um, and it wasn't actually until I got into um, that major specifically that I saw how valuable the research aspect is. So I decided that for me, I wanted to go into graduate studies so that I could be involved in the innovative part. I wanted to be involved in developing new treatments and developing new strategies um, for diseases and in, um, in the process of changing things. The project that I'm working on is dealing with this very big problem where patients get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer much, much too late. By the time um, somebody's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, it's already usually past the treatment window. My role is looking at um, kind of a different compartment of tumors. So tumors have stroma cells, they have tumor cells, they have immune cells that make up this environment that cancer lives in. As the tumor gets more advanced, some of the cells can break off of the tumor and invade the tissue that's around the tumor. Um, and eventually these cells can circulate around the body. If they find an area where they can thrive, they can develop a metastasis there in that new spot um, and that makes it much, much more difficult to treat. And so I'm looking at these cells and trying to target them. So I basically use a screening tool, you can think of it as a bunch of keys, and I throw them on a, on a cell until I've found ones that are successful at targeting the tumor cells. Once um, I have this key, this target, um, then I will be able to use it in order to take an image of the tumor um, and also to potentially deliver um, some kind of drug to the tumor. There are things that are awesome about working in a lab in that we're really at the cutting edge. The things that we're doing could help real people. There are things that are very translational, meaning the things that I do in the lab I expect can go into the clinic. Um, but it has its challenges too. The majority of the experiments that we do fail. Um, you fail and fail and fail and fail and fail. And it's not until you've done something ad nauseum that it actually works. It can be extraordinarily frustrating, especially when you want so much to be solving a problem and um, that problem is not getting solved very quickly. But I would say in graduate school, endurance and perseverance are very important. I just have to constantly remind myself with a big picture of what I'm trying to do um, and remember that you learn from failure and that many of the failures will eventually lead to success. I think that one thing that many people overlook is finding their passion. If you have an interest in science and if you're trying to pursue that interest, um, there, is, there are so many different fields that you can go into. There are so many different types of research. The possibilities are really endless. You have the opportunity to kind of test things out and figure out what, what really resonates with you. And it's important to kind of uh, allow yourself many experiences in different fields in order to figure out one that you're really passionate about. Because it can be frustrating to fail so often and because um, it can take endurance and perseverance, uh, it's really important to have the passion driving it. Um, and if you find what you're passionate about, you'll succeed.